if we had a drug that had the research base that exercise does, that had the proven benefit in terms of lowering risk of heart disease, of diabetes, of blood pressure, cholesterol, depression, cancer, on and on and on. If we had a drug that could do even a fraction of that, it would be the most prescribed drug in the world. There would be universal outcry, why can't I get that drug? Why aren't we prescribing that drug to every patient we see? Why hasn't that happened with exercise? I don't understand it. You know, I'm astounded as I travel around the world that folks in multiple other countries are thinking the same exact thing. This idea that exercise is medicine is really not a novel idea. It, it dates back to Hippocrates. In the fifth century BC, in his book Regimen, Hippocrates said, eating alone will not keep a man well. He must also take exercise for food and exercise work together to produce health. So this is ancient medicine, and I think we're just sort of rediscovering it. You know, I think it's a great idea for a physician to write an exercise, a walking prescription, really to every patient, but especially to our patients who have these chronic diseases or who are at risk for these chronic diseases. It's really essential. I think it's very symbolic. If we think about what we as physicians do each day, we're constantly writing prescriptions for medications, or we're writing out a referral to go see a specialist or to have a procedure done, why would we not write a prescription for the most powerful medication that's known to man, and that's regular walking.